this is Dominic Kiwi and welcome to part one of my episode, part one of my episode, part one of my Planet Coaster Let's Play. I haven't named this park yet just because I don't know what to name it, but I'm going to name it at the end of the series anyway, which I hope is going to last quite a while. I want to build a, a, a detailed theme park, like, as detailed as I can possibly get it, basically. Which probably won't be very detailed because I'm not very good at building. In the first few episodes I am going to be building the entrance, uh, probably. Um, so there probably will be a few time lapses and stuff. Okay, I, I need to close the park for now just because I don't want guests to come in because it makes it easier for me to build without the guests. Okay, I need to use the grid just because it makes things neat and tidy as well. And I want to build a factory style entrance. Because uh, that's the theme for the first area. I want it all factory sort of themed. Maybe even steampunk. But I want it factories with chimneys and stuff. And I want a fountain in the middle of the plaza area. Which is what I'm building now. And I'm trying to work out how big basically to get it. So I can fit the fountain in. So I want the fountain in the centre as well, so, yeah. Yeah, now I'm trying to, like, figure out, like, what path to use. Maybe try and use different paths for the middle. But, you know, it's kind of hard to match paths. I don't like it when it keeps doing this. Every time I try to do something like this, it just does this, which is annoying. I don't like it. It's, it just gets on my nerves, basically. Yeah, I might just stick with the other path. This might be a bit easier and a bit more simple, but you know, some of the best things are simple. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to just stick with the other path. This is not working at all. Not at all. There we go. Ah, I've got wrong path. Okay. I need to make it a bit more bigger, I think, to fit the fountain in. No, because this fountain needs to be quite big, and I want a pond for it as well. But now I just need to delete the path for where it goes going to go. Something like that. Yeah, that's a big enough for the pond. Okay, now I need to make an area for the ticket booth things to go, where you pay for your park ticket. And probably buy fast tracks and stuff, you know. Mm, this isn't symmetrical. Well, it is, but it's hard to put the paths down. I'm trying to work out where to put them. Maybe one more over, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because then I can probably put a toilet in the middle. Because, you know, it'd be nice if you have a toilet in the middle at the park entrance so people can use the toilet. And the path is going to change colour just because I think it's a nice transition to once you get inside the actual theme park. Yeah, something like that. And now I need to lower the um, pond. Or should I do the... Um, I think I might do the outside first. Like, path. Actually, no, I just go straight to lowering the pond to make it easier for myself. <laughs> It'd be hard to build otherwise. I don't want to lower any of the scenery. Hmm, a bit smaller. There we go. Um, I think that may be going a bit too deep. Yeah, I don't want it that deep. There. 
Um, maybe less intense. That might be what it is. Oh well. I'll just do it like this for now. Yeah, something like that. Oh no. Nope, too deep, too deep, too deep. I don't know why I'm still doing this, because I know it's too deep, but... Oh well. Yeah, that's more like it. Mm. Yep, there's the pond. I'm kind of thinking of putting, like, curved fountains, maybe like arches if they've got me in the game. Uh, last time I checked, they didn't have it, but there's there's been an update, so maybe they've added some. And let's go to water effects. Mm. Mm. I can't seem to find it at the moment. Where are they? This? Nope. Still can't find it. Ooh. Those splash effects would be good for when the water lands, it'd make it a bit more... I don't know. Mm. I might stick with one of these fountains like this if I can't find it, so I kind of like this as well. Mm. I still can't find it. Yeah, I just think I might stick with one of these. Maybe a taller one. Mm. Yeah, I might do that with a splash effect to make it more realistic. Mm. Mm. Oh, that looks nice. Nah, I'm just gonna stick with one of these. Taller one. There we go. Now I just need to lift it up a bit and place it in the middle. I want it as close to middle as possible, to be honest. As close to the middle as possible, please. Please. Now I can use this splash effect to make it a bit more realistic underneath as well. You know, because fountains usually splash when they land. There we go. And now I'm going to time lapse while I make this area a bit more nicer. And I'll explain what I've done when I'm back. So, bye bye for now.
Okay, yeah, now we're back. Um, basically, what I did was uh, put a fence around the pond, obviously, and put some plants and stuff to make it look nice. Um, right now, I'm still putting the plants in, like the lily pads and stuff. I put the rock in the middle just to hide the thing that makes the fountain come up. Also, the bushes, the bigger bushes on each corner, I put in because the fences weren't big enough. So they didn't reach each of the corners, so I basically made it so it's it hides the empty slots basically. So it looks like the fences is just going completely round when they're really they're not. But you know, no one's going to notice unless they, they're actually looking for it. So I'm just finishing off the finishing touches for the pond. I probably edit it a bit later on in the series, but I'm I'm happy with the pond how it is for now. Um. So yeah, I am now going to probably start putting the, the main entrance to the theme park in, which is going to be probably the hardest because I'm not very good at making entrances. I don't know what they're supposed to really look like, because every theme park seems to have a different entrance. So anyway, um, let's find a ticket booth. If I remember correctly, you can't actually use the actual ticket booths um, because they're actually things that you have to walk through. So I'm going to use probably a um, an information stand and pretend that that's a um, a ticket booth, basically. So, yep, put that in probably the other side, yeah, and uh, wait for it to connect, basically, to the off. Just did. No. It doesn't seem to want to connect. Really? Connect! I can't even change the size of the grid. Oh, wait. Come on. Connect, please. Oh, I had it. Yes! Yay! There we go. Yes, and uh, now in the middle I will have the toilets, and right here I'm going to have that, and another one just there. There we go. Now let me get the toilets for the middle. And turn it around so you can't... Yeah, there we go. Now I kind of want an old... Obviously I want it to look like a factory, so I'm thinking maybe you put the old sort of bricks possibly on the outside for the building yeah I'm gonna use the bricks for the building come on I'm, I can't remember where the bricks oh wait they're in the buildings yeah the custom walls obviously yeah there we go brick walls okay what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build the first layer or two. Then once I've got the main sort of structure of the building done, I'm gonna time lapse. I want it on the air outside as well, the path so it hides the sort of barrier sort of thing that goes around the outside of the path. Well I'll hide it as much as I possibly can at least. I want it to go out one more just to make it sort of look bigger so it doesn't sort of just end where the path ends. This will be just like one sort of layer. It's not supposed to be a massive proper building. It's supposed to be obviously a pretend building. And it's supposed to look pretend for the factory area. It's basically like an entrance to a factory, sort of like an entrance sort of gate to a factory. Oh, oops, I don't want to cover the path. There we go. Finish this bit off. Like that. There we go. Now I sort of need to block and hide those buildings as much as I possibly can without obviously making it so it doesn't look realistic so they kind of paint at the wall kind of yeah like that that's more like it 
Oh wait. Place please. Thank you. And again there. I basically just do the same for all of the building. Like that. While I'm at it, I will release the. Uh, the I'm not going to release it anytime soon on the Steam Workshop, but I do plan on releasing it to the Steam Workshop before I finish the park. There we go. Now I just need to put the um, barriers on to make it look like it's actually connected to the same part of the same building. Then I think we've done uh, the first space. So anyway, I am going to time lapse from here until I've finished the building. Well, not finished the building, but finished the first bit of the building at least, like the front of it and stuff. So I shall be back in a bit. So now I'm going to put some lights on, basically, obviously, to make it lighter at night. Oh, ooh. hold on, something's happened on my screen. You won't be able to see it because it's on my other screen, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to put some lights on um, to make it lighter at night, you know, it's obvious what the light's for. Uh, to be honest, um, I don't know really how to place lights um, properly in this game, but you know, as long as they look alright. Anyway, that was just a short update to tell you what's happening. I'm going to now time lapse you again. I know, I did warn you, there's going to be a lot of time lapsing just for the first few episodes. And then when we start putting rides in and stuff, it's going to be less time lapsing. But it's still going to be time lapsing, just not a lot. Okay? So I'll see you in a bit, probably towards the end of the video. So see you in the last of the all section. Bye.
Okay, so now I am adding the final touches to the pond, and then that will wrap this video up. I have basically put coloured lights on the um, fountain just to make it look nicer, and in the next video I'm going to make a garden sort of, well I don't know how I said it like that. Next time I'm going to put the garden around the outside of the path, and do the other sides of the building. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!